My idea for today is to try to catch some old friends. Um, for those of you who don't know, I lived in Florida for about two years, so I didn't get to fish a lot of this water as much as I normally would have like previous to that. And as a result, a lot of these fish I haven't even attempted to catch or even seen if they even still existed for at least two years. Some of them even more than that. The water is pretty average right now. Uh, usually I like it to be a little bit above average when I'm fishing for some of these fish, but I really don't have a choice. Um, so I'm gonna try it. If I can catch even one of my friends, I'm gonna call them my friends, they probably really don't like me that much. <laughs> but if I can catch even one of these fish, I will consider it a very, very successful day. It'll be interesting because there's been a lot of high water, there's been floods, there's been droughts, there's been hot spells. Um, there's been all sorts of stuff that's happened in the past like two or three years that could have greatly affected whether these fish survived or how big they got or if they've grown or moved or whatever they could have done. So. It'll be interesting for like my own personal knowledge base to see if these fish survive in some of these places. I'm gonna shut up, get fishing, and hopefully catch at least one of these fish for you guys. A brown trout. Holy guacamole. He is fighting like he's a rainbow trout though. Let's go! Wow, that's a pretty fish. Alright guys, so I'm gonna show off this brown real quick just because he's so fat. And he's probably not, he's probably not, he's not that long, but he's a freaking mega giant as far as like fatness goes. I mean, he's like, look at him. He's like a little football. Is that not wild? <laughs> it's so cool. And he's a pretty fish too. I'm super stoked because I have uh, quite literally fished for, it is 1230. I've been here since eight. And for the past, oh, I don't know, three or four hours. I haven't really caught anything. Maybe in the past like 30 minutes, I've actually started catching fish. Um, I don't know if it's a location change or if it's uh, that the fish are just starting to bite, whatever it may be. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and release this guy and hopefully catch some more fish. How's the fish? It was a fish. Uh, okay. Uh, a little bit bigger. He's probably six or seven. Oh my gosh. You sly dog. I don't even really care about catching this fish, but now that I've missed him so many times, it's like I feel like I need to. He's gonna hit right in here. Right. Nothing. There we go. Oh, he popped off. I mean, that's about the size of the fish that I was catching. Not any giant. Falling, standing. There's some fish sitting right up there. They used to be back in the day. There it is. Ooh, it's a little bit bigger fish. 
Oh my gosh, look how pretty that fish is. Holy cow. Can't stand up, can't stand up. What a colorful little rainbow. Yep, got this one on the bottom. I'm all over, I'm all sorts of screwed up there. Look at this fella. Chill out. Pretty fish. And look at the colors on him. What an incredible little rainbow. Thanks, buddy. A little bit better fish don't you dare go down there oh my gosh i wish you wouldn't hello hello come here buddy thanks for the plan and I'm stuck in a tree above me. This fish is interesting because he's got like no spots on him and he's real bright. If that makes sense. I don't know how well you can see that, but. Chill. 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 So he's got no spots on him until his tail. It's a unique looking rainbow. Thanks, buddy. Let me catch more in this little pocket here. Seems to be a decent amount of fish in there. This still was before I rudely caught them. Got another one. Oh! Come here, buddy. This one's a male. I'm just gonna net him so he doesn't break me or something. Can you chill out? Thank you. Now this one, this fish is like, um, the exact opposite of the last one I pulled out of here and that he's got uh, he's got spots all over him. Like the entirety of this fish is all spots. How did you do what you did, buddy? There we go. Give me, come here. See guys how this fish has got like spots the entire way? He's a male as well, but. There's slightly different strain of rainbow. Somewhere along the line, when the rainbows were introduced to this stream, there were several different variations. And you can still see the difference in variation today. It's pretty cool. the bridge and big brown giant brown he's for the creek hey buddy 
What a legend. What an absolute legend. You're a legend, dude. You're a legend. Legend. <laughs> this is where he was, guys, by the way. Underneath this bridge. Backing up. Going into hiding. Alright, guys, so I'm trying to keep my voice down because this is like a super low key spot. I really don't want anybody knowing this fish is here, but there's a story behind this fish. Um, I think the last time I fished up here was probably three years ago, I think. I come up here and I caught this fish. Actually, I didn't catch the fish. Andrew caught the fish. He was like 14, 15 inches. And he has blossomed into a beautiful little brown. He's probably, probably not 20, but this creek isn't very big. And he's got a big head on him. I don't know how much, how big he's gonna get in here. I didn't think he was gonna be alive because we've had a several droughts and stuff throughout the last couple of years. And when this creek gets low, it's pretty atrocious. But I guess there's some kind of spring in here or something that enables this fellow to live regardless of the weather. And look at him, he's still alive, living his best life. Got got by a streamer, obviously, but. All right, um, I'm gonna head and get this fish released. Yeah, that fish is interesting, just because um, I was actually talking to Andrew about that fish like a few days ago, and he was like, hey, you should go back and try to catch that fish. And I remember telling him like, you know, like there's no way that fish is alive because that creek doesn't have much water in it anyway. And I figured with some of the droughts that they've had that, you know, there wouldn't even be enough water in the creek to support a fish, period. And quite frankly, he's grown quite a bit, but you could tell that he was a little rough around the edges. His fins were a little kind of destroyed in a few places. Um, he was pretty healthy now, but you could tell that he had like a bigger head and like a smaller body as compared to like that fish I caught earlier today. Um, which just shows that like he's been through some rough patches, which does not surprise me. But I think he's got like this perfect little scenario of like, he's got just enough water in that hole, it's just deep enough that even under the lowest water conditions, there's still like running water. It apparently doesn't get too warm. Um, and then he's got that overhead cover of the bridge to kind of protect him from like birds and stuff like that. So it's like, it never ceases to amaze me how like resilient some of these brown trout are. But uh, yeah, super special fish. As I said, I think the last time, I think Andrew caught that fish like three years ago. Or like the spring of 2019, I think it would have been. So it's been, it's been a minute. Anyway, um, I'm gonna end this video off here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, chasing some old friends. I'll probably do that some more throughout the spring uh, as the weather conditions improve a little bit and we don't get like gigantic snowstorms coming through like this one that's coming through today or tomorrow but anyway hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next episode of hardman fishing adventures